It's been about the dynasty we rockin' 365. It's been about the dynasty we rockin' 365. It's been about the dynasty, it's been about the grind. It's been about the dynasty, it's been about the grind. It's been about the dynasty we rockin' 365. It's been about the dynasty we rockin' 365. It's been about the dynasty, it's been about the grind. It's been about the dynasty, it's been about the grind. It's been about the dynasty we rockin' 365. Yo, HB in the building. And welcome to the show called The Seller. I'm back. I'm that dude. I've been here for a long time. I haven't did this show in a minute. Because some of you boys got to learn some respect. And that's the reason why The Seller is back. Yeah. Marizi here. Marizi, say what's up, bro. Yo, what up, what up? What's up, Marizi, man? What is up, my dude? I swear to God, bro, people out here want to say, oh, you can't talk trash, you can't talk trash, man, you can't talk trash, oh, he always talking trash, HB always talking trash, but since I've been in the dining, since I played Madden, man, people always talk trash, I mean, have you felt any different about people talking trash? Nah, man, people talking trash all the time, I be talking trash too. And that's what, and, and that's what dudes do, dudes talk trash, dudes talk trash. Dudes talk trash. Don't tell me not to talk trash because dudes talk trash. I mean, I've been in Dynasty. People been talking trash. It takes respect to get respect, my dude. Um, Let's talk about the NFC North of folk ran by Enbro. A guy who I don't agree with named KP sometimes. He's a cool dude and he talking about I hate that dude. But I think what it is that he is number two up in the NFC North. What do you think? I don't know, man, but could be that, but it's just Ember and the Packers is just number one mm. all overall NFC, AFC, you know? See, the problem is he let a dude like Embro come up in his division and knock his ass around. He didn't just knock him around. He pushed him around. He, he said, you're going to get in last place. You're going to get second. I'm first. That's what Embro did. Embro scared that man. His tactics, his mathematics, trades, whatever he want to do, salary cap, however he want to put it, however he want to put in his clear mind of KP, a.k.a. the bus, he will always finish second behind Embro. So I don't know. I just don't know. Man. I mean, right now that's what it looks like. It just looks like KP just got to try to go for the wild card. I mean, who can really... Can't really stop Ember though, you know, you can't blame him. It's not like anyone out here really is gonna come out here and just knock Ember on his ass because it hasn't happened, you know? Man, he's a wild card bottom feeder. I'm drinking a beer right now. KP don't drink beer. So you know he don't know how good this tastes. Ah Man, man, man. But I ain't go I'm not gonna even talk about him all day. I'm gonna move on to the next conversation, man. You know, as far as I know. There's only been one NFC South King. You know, one NFC South King, and that's been you, Marizi. You've been holding it down in the NFC South, NFC South, man. Nobody been able to compete. Nobody been able to mess with you. You know, you had your bad games and your good games, but you doing what you do, my dude. I mean, tell me about that NFC South, man. I mean, I know I've just been getting kind of lucky, honestly. My, my schedule's not that tough, for, so I've been getting lucky, but, uh, you know, uh, the 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 Bucks had a good, pretty good season, and he he's kind of on me right now. He's four and two also, so gotta gotta keep the pedal to the metal, you know. Try to keep it going. Got a tough opponent next. Gotta face Addy, so that's gonna be tough. Wee, that's a bad boy. It's a bad I mean, boy. Just, just lost. I just lost to to Packers too, so you know, got kind of right now. It's my my tough. Tough part of the season. After that, I gotta like try to win out. Hmm. And bro, the unstoppable banner dude, banner after banner, banner after banner. The dude think he is true to the to the crown to the king. He, I mean, he runs. I mean, he runs. I mean, he runs. He runs the league right now. I hope he never be hot to a record, man. I hope he never do. If you hearing this show? I hope you never do. Cause that's what that's what HBO gonna say. I hope you never do. Gonna but, have to bring him back, man. Gonna have to bring him back. But man, you've been holding it down, man. You've been holding it down, man. The Panthers, you know, I always see the Panthers, you know, you know, spitting words and spitting his language, you know, towards the NFC South. Like, 
your division is one trash talking motherfucking division. I gotta admit, you know. Like we ain't going to say no names. We ain't going to say no names. But I know there's battles and battles and feuds between you and among the different mates. But, you know, we're going to keep it cool on the cellar. But all I'm going to say yeah, yeah, yeah. is right now. <laughs> you want to say. We're going to keep it cool. We're going to keep it cool. One and six or O and A. I'm, I'm talking to you, Dion. I'm going to diss you because I'm going to diss you. You a bum. You know, when we play in our annual preseason game, I'm going to blow you out. But you's a cool dude. I respect you for having me in the league. But HBO will spit what he spit. All right? I don't know what you're doing. If you're blowing bubbles or something, or if you're having birthday parties, or if you're on vacation, I'm coming for you again every single preseason. You will never get the win. All right? Just thought I'd let you know that. But. <laughs> Nah, but uh, go ahead, go ahead, bear, go ahead. <laughs> nah, nah, just saying, just keep it going, man. You know, whenever you face him, just I'm glad to see him take an L any any day. So keep it going, bro. True, true, true. Man, if you had to get some respect, my dude, like if you had to get some respect from a like at a one opponent from the AFC, one opponent from the NFC, which team would you want some respect from? Like, which dude you would want some respect? Man, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to like, trying to win now. It don't really matter who, what what dude got here to say about me or anything, you know. I'm just out here to have fun, keep it going, talk a little trash, you know. But overall, it's just pretty much everyone's respect is all good for me, you know. I'm not trying to like disrespect no one. I got just trying you. I to have some you. fun. I feel you. You know. Well, you know, HB, he go disrespects on what? If I uh, had my hey, choice. Man. You do you, bro. You do you. If I had my choice, I would want some respect from the Chick-fil-A king, KP. Because Popeye chickens is way better than Chick-fil-A. This Chick-fil-A eating motherfucker. I'm just going to speak what I got to speak. I'm going to let the man know. Like, like, man, you need to show some respect. That's why when we play each other, man, you're going to get the poop, poop, poop. You're going to get smashed. You're going to get cashed out, and you're going to empty your pockets and turn around and be broke. That's what h going to say. Yes, sir. Also, my dude, Vikings, keep your mouth shut if you finish last every single year. Year after year after year. I don't even know if you're capable of winning a game. You play like a two-year-old. A two-year-old who is barely holding the controller. He holds the controller better than you. Two-year-olds hold the controller better than you. This dude, Minnesota Vikings, a.k.a. O-Matic, is a bum. This is how it is. You come on the cellar, I'm dissing, I'm disrespecting. That's just how it is, my dude. But mad respect, mad respect. Also, also, Marizi, I got to give respect to Expert Corner, man. What he's doing out there, you know, for the Dynasty, all these different shows, I got to give him respect. Even though sometimes I feel like he's absent in the chat, I got to give the dude some respect. What you think? Yeah, 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 definitely. Dude putting out that lot of work. That uh, that video he came out with uh, for the uh, what he wants for the new Madden mm -hmm. for franchise that was that was dope. I looked at the whole thing from the full commission of control to everything he had to say about that. You know he's coming a lot of views and I'm in another league with some of the uh, some of the develop one of the developers and uh, I posted the the video over there trying to get someone you know maybe someone could watch it. Mm -hmm. Get some some more exposure, help him out, you know, because he's doing a lot of work and he's not active in the in the chat anymore. But I still know he's putting in work, so you know, gotta give him that respect to expert. Shout out to expert, give him some respect, some respect, spec. Also, 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 man. My top five bums in the dynasty, man. Y'all gotta get better, man. Y'all got to get better. Number one pick after year after year after year, man. Y'all gotta improve on that, man. Cause. That's ridiculous, man. Like, Bills, that's ridiculous, bro. Titans, that's ridiculous, bro. You know? Y'all got to gotta come up and figure a way to win because, you know, the lead is tired of watching y'all asses. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. All I'm going to say, man. All I'm going to say. You got anything to say, man? You got anything to say? Hey, just uh, send me one of them first, huh? Send the trade over here. And then... Ugh. 
Me and Maurice be making trades, bro. Thanks for Marcus Williams, man. You know he had a big pick, man. A big pick against the Seahawks, man. You know it was a real big pick. Sealed the game, yeah, he's brother. He's a baller. He's a baller, man. He's a, he's baller. a baller. Good deal. Good Everybody, deal. Yeah, future first round pick. That, you know, that's nothing, man. That's nothing, man. You know. But, you know, everybody like, man, you gave up too much for Marcus. I'm like, man, I made a deal that was going to make my team better. Hey, man, you know, I'm just thinking for the future. This made your team better now. Yeah. You know, we both win. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Both win, man. You know, what's your record sitting right now, you know, in the NFC South? Uh, I think I might have got four or two right now. Okay, you think you're going to take the division, my dude? Man, I don't know. I'm hoping, but, you know, it's tough right now. And I'm an next opponent. It's going to be tough. Got to help out. Okay. Bucks got a tough opponent, too, you know, because he's on me. He's on me. So man, who on, who on the on block, it. man? Who on the block? You you know, it's Alvin, Kam it's Alvin Kam Kamar, Kamara. He's still on the block. Nah, nah, nah. Maybe in the offseason. I'm out of trades for now, so I got to wait till the offseason. Okay, okay, man. Just to let everybody know, Todd Groley is probably going to be a free agent because the Ravens, we ain't got no money. All right? We ain't got no money, so he's probably gone. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, Marizzi, you know, I try to be as silent as possible, but you know I'm a loud dude, but we're going to end this show with deuces, my dude. All right, bro. Nah, you do you, bro. You be as loud as you want to be. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm trying... <laughs> I'm trying, you know, when you get a little kid, you be like, oh, let me be a little quiet, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but for sure, my dude, stay up, bro. We out. All right, we out.